Good morning, beautiful people. Got some amazing, interesting talking points that came to me through there. I'll jump in right away. Follow this. How to not make your life a chore. Boring. There's a word which is very common, right? Boring. My life is boring. This is boring. That is boring. It's a chore. It's a routine. And you're stuck in a rut. How to not make life a chore. This is what came to me. I'll quickly go through the 10 points. Just bear with me. It's very quick. First of all, understand that your life is happening in today, not yesterday or tomorrow. This is where mind gets stuck between past and the future. Knowing this and living this are very different things. It is something like knowing bravery and being brave. Very different things. Lots of cowards even know what is bravery, but they are not being brave. Knowing something, being something vastly different. Just ponder this. Number two, your power and presence, follow this here, your power and presence are only in the waking moment each day, not when you are asleep, when you are waking moment, make it count just for you, not for your family, not for your friends, not for your teachers, boss, business, church, state, country, whatever or a cause but just for you because you are living your life because you are the one that is in your mind in your heart in everything you call as me quote unquote number three your joy of being alive an exuberant person only comes from living your life as if it's your last day on earth what if it was your last day on earth what would you actually be living as don't think Oh, okay, I'm going to live forever. Ah, no, I'm not going to die tomorrow. No, actually consider it, consider it as a fact. Even the great Steve Jobs said the same thing. The best liberator for him was to think that he might die any day. And that's how he became a powerful creator. So your joy of being alive only comes from living your life as if it's the last day on earth. Even if you try this seriously for one day, you will see how much of BS you will yourself get rid of from your own life which you earlier made a big deal out of people make very big significant things out of little nonsensical things in their life so you will get rid of it by yourself not with anybody telling you yourself you yourself will come to that conclusion which you earlier made a big deal out of and wasted your time and energy in all those situations people places ideas beliefs yada yada number four Never try to please a mind, be it your mind or anyone else's. Does not matter how important you consider them or how close you feel you think you are to the other person. The mind, it is the nature of the human mind, all of us, me included. Mind is always fickle and changing and uncaring and selfish. It's a blank dead thing. That's why it is represented as moon in the charts. Even if you explore Vedic astrology, you can see my other playlist here. I will link it up somewhere. By its very nature for everyone, mind is fickle and changing, including yours. Even from breakfast to lunch, we humans desire different things, crave variety. I have had the same thing for breakfast. I'm not going to have the same thing for lunch or for dinner. Lunch to dinner, different things. That's how fickle the mind is. Think of it. So trying to please someone or getting in someone else's good books, etc. is a complete waste of your life, your energy, your time. Just do what brings you joy today, now, today. After seeing this video probably, from now to before lunch time today. Don't think in terms even, oh I'll do it in next hour or our next two hours. What can I do right now? You can change that in this afternoon if you wish. Live life like that dynamically and you'll become radically different in just a week. That's how quick it can be. Number five. Always create something new each day. Always, always, always. I cannot stress this more importantly. For that is the power of creator or God or universe or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Unless you access that, unless you are in that space, use that deliberately and consciously. It will not come by itself. Mind will not give it to you. So if you are stuck in your mind games, you will not be doing this stuff. You have to consciously think, ah, okay, now I got to do something. Giving it as much importance in addition of daily activities as eating or drinking. 
then and only then you will begin to realize the power you have as the creator and let that be you not a copy paste of something else be bold be brave be uniquely you no one else really bothers even if you die tomorrow everyone will shed a tear or two for a couple of weeks or two and get on with their lives death is a great liberator of people why because it shatters their illusions of reality people think they are immortal they are not they are here to gone tomorrow what did you enjoy them you didn't even talk to them you didn't even speak to them you didn't even connect with them see what i mean number 6 be these three things every day be is the key there somehow or another it's up to you you are very unique i cannot tell you what to do these are just talking points which came to me today shed a tear or two for someone cry it's good it makes you human shed a tear or two for someone or about a cause or just listening to a song next be grateful for something or some other thing or some other person or whatever in your life just find something to be grateful about past or present and next sing a song or tune that you really love that really moves you not just the dirt is a next popular piece of music something that makes you smile or cry this is the key these three will make you more human and make you glow from inside make you compassionate and a wise person in time these moments are the only ones you will recall as your life when you are taking your last breath in the body that you have that is reading these words everything else in your life from the time you are taking that last breath is irrelevant everything else is irrelevant only joy and connection to life will matter what was your connect to life what did you do in all the breathing moments that you had you will evaluate it in terms of joy in terms of how you connected with it okay your most profound moments of love life laughter is what will make you and those around you human and what you will remember in your last breath big one yeah number 7 be systematic with tasks and routines be systematic with tasks and routines but be unsystematic and dynamic with people difference being subjective and objective tasks require logic reasoning intellect and mind energy people around you yourself included are constantly changing evolving creatures of spirit in bodies when you yourself are changing and are never the same one year to the next how do you expect your partner lover friend spouse etc to be the same throughout life stop being unfair to yourself and to others around you whoever you have known soon you will take control of your life path and cut others around you also a little slack and let them be wherever they are number 8 bring some time for quiet introspection each day quiet introspection folks not social media even not even youtube not even this video maybe just to sit and enjoy the breeze or snow where depending on which part of the world you are sitting on a park bench or watching the birds watching your breath breathing not trying to engage with the external world in many ways sensory yes you can be engaged with your sensory input but not in a way of being engaged with social media not trying to crave youtube browsing netflix ah who oh, all of this stuff okay not using a mind chatter be quietness of being alive that's the key there is a quietness to life to consciously not do anything just being just being human not reading browsing youtube netflix not being consumed by entertaining craving minds that the systems are asking you to consume each day that makes you dull and dreary and a shut down person people are very shut down these days especially since 2020 because of this living like this for an extended period can make you dead inside where you become listless you know you don't know what life is oh where is my life going that is listless unhinged ungrounded and in extremes you can become a very depressed introverted person number 9 walk walking is the simplest best way to process your thoughts and emotions walk alone or maybe walk with a close friend if you choose talk while walking or alone with music as you crunch the jumble of thoughts and emotions each day walking in nature and parks is better off if you are near one if you are a sensitive walk by a river 
ocean, trees, gardens. Feel the ground pulsing its music beneath your feet. The ground is giving out so much of music. Feel everything around you while walking. Nature has its way of unprocessing your jumble, whatever your jumble is going on inside your mind, inside your emotional field, it can unprocess, it can discharge that faster than any human meditation or any of the concocted processes that we have. Okay, Nature is the best cure there. Number 10, your uniqueness will be the most challenging part in life for you to accept. That you are utterly unique, utterly alone, no one will ever truly understand you ever, ever, not going to happen will be the most profound discovery you can embody. It's different thing having something, idea in the mind and being that, embodying that. Okay, this will be the most profound discovery you can embody and live, yet more bold and brave and fearless aspect of you than you have ever considered possible. Accepting this to your heart will be the stretch life takes you through. Life takes everybody through, through a stretch. It's the first house and the seventh house if you're talking astrology. Like a stretch of the soul. You are born as one thing. You have your own ideas, minds, personality and there, the rest of the seven billion. Okay? This is the stretch we are talking about. In different experiences, different challenges, different situations, people, places. Yet, that is what makes you the most powerful creator who will never walk this way again, who will you'll never walk this. After your last breath is finished, it's over. It's not quite the same as your body, mind and all that makes you beautifully you. Last but never the least, this came in last. I was surprised by this. Don't make anyone or anything more real than you. Nothing is real here. Even your breath will go one day. Remember that. Humans have come and gone. So have civilizations come and gone. Disappeared without a trace. Earth is a mystery. You are even more mysterious to be in this mysterious place. Live in this mystery as an ever-growing question without trying to answer. Let life answer it. You as life and everything else as life. Let it answer it for you. Just be in the question. Without trying to answer it, and making the answer real. The moment you start making things real, that thing goes and something else comes. Let it be a person, people, place, situation. Why? Because life is trying to tell you that's not real. Nothing here is real in any sense of the term. Okay? I'll leave you with that much. Take care, be safe, be awesome.